guys welcome to dotnet techie so today i am going to take you in very interesting topic and interesting project called inventory management and this application has been developed with angular 5 and web api restful services so let me show you the next things what we have what you will learn in this video how inventory management system works code walk through line by line then who can take the advantage of this project students developers and retailers what is my road map to complete these projects so i'm gonna to develop and show you inventory management vendor management order management and dashboard of uh, the whole application so this is these are three modules along with the dashboard and reporting i am gonna to show you <coughs> so this is all about uh, <coughs> my presentation let me show you how in inventory management in action so the inventory management let me show you what all the records we have only two records in this or uh, my inventory let me go and add so how inventory management works so let me add orange <coughs> orange let's say code is over quantity is let's say 1500 and per unit price let's say 5 rupees and uh, i desk something and select the category it's kind of fruits okay i've selected it i have inserted it and it has gone to the database and it has shown me the masses so this is uh, one part where we can add the invent item into inventory other part is we can update the item of the inventory let's say third i would like to ab update the description so i could uh, go ahead and select my id and i can say that orange ngp <laughs> and i can just say update and it works perfectly so <coughs> this is how update works and we can delete some items from the inventory if we do not have that item into our list so this is how my system is working and it is showing me all the <coughs> items in inventory we have filter searching sorting in this grid so this is how my uh, <coughs> system looks like and uh, let me go and show you full code so what all the code i have written in order to achieve this thing so let us go line by line of the code and explain you how you too can follow my video and achieve this thing so this is the panel this is header and this is the menu where we shows me the all the menus along with the logout button so just consider that i have logged in as an admin uh, in this application so here is my one first form so add new item the moment you click on add new item into inventory it displays me add dialog box so this is dialog box from prime ng which needs the value of display add as as true and it will display as a model popper this is uh, growl which shows me the message in green color which we just saw when we added the inventory item this is the insert form for me so in the insert form on ng submit i am calling on insert method there we have the controls like in grid call 2 we have the label and in grid call 6 we are having the text box which is it's like a reactive form insert form we have form control name over here so similarly other control as well and whatever the validation needs to be applied that validation we do apply by using ngf does not equal to insert form dot controls dot name dot valid and insert form dot controls dot name dot dirty so this is how we are validating if user is not entering and whatever is required similarly an uh, other control which is uh, accepting the code of the item then quantity then price hope <coughs> you are able to understand whole code this is how this code is for the price let me take you to the description section so again in the description section we have this code so this is uh, all about the insert form and this is my button which will take me so this is label insert.form.valid if it is does not uh, valid then it is disabled <coughs> if it is not valid it is disabled and if it is valid it will be enabled similarly we do have any other form as well so for the update inventory we have other form so this is for the update inventory update form so where we are collecting all the values in my list and we are using fill update control methods over here and this is again reactive form it is getting opened by uh, clicking on the menu item and it's uh, in, the, uh, in the model pop-up as we have already seen similarly we do have those controls and we are filling up the values and binding of those values 
over here so this is how all the values are getting binded based on the id other thing is that we do apply same kind of validation over here so this is code about this validation step hope uh, <coughs> you are able to follow my code and this is again for the quantity per unit price and description so <coughs> let me scroll here to the right side so that you can see just see this part of the rights if follow my video and you will be able to make this project i'm sure if you are watching this perfectly and you have full concentration you will make easily pretty easy things to implement it then we do have descriptions over here and other this category drop down and again the update button and update button is this what method is getting called in update functions so we will go over here and we can check it out on update function is getting called over here on the ng submit of this update form this is again a reactive form after that what we have we do have the delete so in the delete we just want uh, the id of the control which needs to be id of the item which needs to be deleted so we are just showing the id and delete button so this is how we are performing in the drop down list we would ask user to select the id uh, which item you would like to delete it and we are just uh, calling this uh, on delete method again in the so all method so we are just using this uh, <coughs> prime ng data table grid and uh, <coughs> p data table is here inventory items is my array where the value which will give me all the values and it is uh, this is again getting opened in pop-up where display all is equal to true so effect is fed in and these are the my, my columns in the grids which are binding and it has property like filterable and sortable and this is how my grid is getting binded okay <coughs> so that's all from the html side and uh, let me take you to the ts component so what all things are there in the app component ts so first of all in the component include component on in it and code then http client module which is important in angular 5 in order to call http services i'm using a accordion module menu item menu bar dialog module forms modules masses select item panel modules as you could uh, you can see for this component i'm having the selected app roots it's a root component app component dot html is supported by this ts file and then we have uh, my app component class where we are having our uh, methods variables and properties so this is my global response which we are using the variable in order to catch the response from the restful services so api url i'm giving i'm accessing this uh, api uh, localhost 54964 api items inventory management system these are the items means menu items so whatever the menu we are binding like dashboard inventory and other stuff so those are the things and this is the message a global message which we are holding for insert update and delete this is the inventory item which is the array of the item so it's a item is an class and again these are my three form insert update and delete form submitted is my one boolean value category is the category drop down list for category drop down list item is for item drop down list. we do have descriptions then in the constructor we are having the form builder and http client by using these constructor values or for, for 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 reactive forms we are using form builder and for http model we are using http client and constructor we are having so add dialog box the moment we so add new item this value is going to be the true so update dialog box then fill update control the moment user clicks on the <coughs> update item it brings up all the values so all the ids all the items to be updated you just select the item and update the value so delete dialog we have function so all dialog we have function on update we are calling we are retrieving the value of the forms in this manner then we are passing to the put api http client dot put we are passing <laughs> and we are whatever uh, we are subscribing the response in global response as i told you and then if it is error we are passing over here if it is success we are passing over here and again binding refreshing the grid over here this msgs update is uh, the global masses functions which shows news the masses based on uh, whether it is success or failure so this is uh, <coughs> what the code is about on insert similarly we have this code then again on ng on it means we are having menu items and uh, <clears throat> we are having this item class over here so yeah that's all about my this application so thanks for watching this video please stay tuned with uh, for further video about vendor management order management and dashboard thank you
किया हो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब डॉट नेट